r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What's the biggest secret that you've kept from your gfbf? He's super well off and I have some pretty hefty debts that I'm working through. We've been dating for a year. And I think it could be a pretty serious thing but my debt is always on my mind as being the thing that will break us up. It's something you might want to consider talking about sooner than later. During the second year dating my GF my parents couldn't afford to help with my student loans payments so I took on the full amount. It put a big damper on our future savings for a home. Savings. Etc. She was understanding and we created a payment schedule to pay off Fata. But I couldn't deal to have that umbrella hanging over our relationship. It bugs me that our dog prefers her. If it's the two of us in the lounge. She'll always go lay her head on my girlfriend's lap. I bet she keeps snacks in her trousers. That's got to be it. My sister's two dogs have definite gender preferences. One always greets and dotes on men for affection. And the other always does so for women. It might not be you per se. I never told my wife I was as abused by a neighbor when I was s kid. She knows my dad beat us but not about the neighbor. I lost almost all feelings for him at one point and was considering breaking up with him. But stuck around. Best damn decision of my life to stick around. Edit. Whoever just gave me silver. I hope your day goes well. I will now die for you as well. Did your feelings for him come back? I didn't think it was possible for infatuation in love feelings to return once gone. That I was molested for about 5 years of my childhood. I eventually told him but it didn't happen until 6 years into our relationship. Though I didn't really keep it a secret that entire time. I didn't fully realize that I was molested in the past until the 4 year mark of our relationship. I had buried those memories and I didn't entirely understand what was going on when I was a kid. So I really kept it a secret for 2 years. I wanted to tell him for a long time but I didn't want to just randomly say hey I was molested. I eventually I found a good time to tell him. What was a good time? And how did he react? Me wanting alone time was me masking my severe anxiety attacks. Late response to answer the comments. Firstly. Thanks for the support and secondly I'm starting to open up to her. It's just that I'm a naturally closed off guy and opening up is a slight challenge for me, mentally. Little by little I'm starting to communicate more about myself but I just need to do it more often though. The best thing you can do here is to communicate that with your partner. That is not worth keeping a secret. My wife was incredibly supportive of me when I told her about my anxiety attacks. She helped me get on the road to recovery. Nice try Chloe. That I've been wanting to end things for a couple of months now. We haven't had sex in months and he keeps bailing on plans or putting zero effort so we sit in my apartment 90% if the time. He also doesn't get why it makes me uncomfortable how much he hangs out with his ex. The day after we went out for our one year anniversary. He went out to brunch with her. But still says he loves me etc. Only reason I haven't ended it is he's moving overseas for work at the end of the year so it will be over then anyway. Just end it man it'll be liberating. All the best. She is in Italy living abroad for 3 months. So we are doing LDR. I am keeping a journal where I write a page every day about her, what I love about her, what I think about her, memories we've shared, times I was thinking about her. She doesn't know. But she does know there is some surprise that she will get. I haven't told her anything about it and I'm really excited. It's really hard to write when we are in an argument. Please don't argue over text. It only makes things worse. But it's also really good because it makes me more mindful and requires me to change my perspective of situations constantly. I love her. Just commenting to double that. Don't argue over text. Even in a relationship that's not long distance. If you find yourself doing that and can't call or go talk in person. Take a break for a few. Pick it up when you and your partner are more level. It's never healthy to argue through text. Don't know if this counts. The last girl I dated before I went to uni assumed I didn't have much money because I don't really spend money on myself. I would obviously spend money for dates and gifts. But I've always had a low cost high quality approach for dates. So our dates were well thought out but not fancy. 
I figured out pretty quickly that she thought I was broke and didn't bother correcting her. I have money but it's my family's so I've never thought of it as my own. She once saw my account balance when I was taking out some cash and got super pissed. It was a bit of an a-hole move but I didn't take advantage and make her pay for everything. Sound like a bullet dodged. I'm working on a 12 year surprise gift for her. 3 octagon boxes. Each one smaller than the last stacked inside of each other. When the lid comes off the sides fall open with 8 pictures of our wedding anniversary pictures. Second lid 8 birthdays of our oldest daughter. Last box is 8 birthday pictures of our son. Married 4 years and my son is 6 months old. I need to find something super special to go in the middle of a gift but I have plenty of time to figure that out. Jewelry. Ask her mother or sister, or bestie, what she would like. But swear them to secrecy. And only if they are trustworthy to begin with. The only nights I sleep are with my partner. I can barely manage more than a few hours otherwise. I have so much anxiety and overthink so many made up scenarios every night. But when I am with them I feel infinitely more calm. I often fake how much I sleep just so they don't worry or feel bad about when I can't be with them. That I actually initially wanted to bang their divorced. Killer body milf mother, who actually was African champion in the 400 meter hurdles back in her day. She is South African, and only befriended her to gain access to the mother. The mother straight up told me one day that I have such a handsome face. Her daughter considered this as validation that I was probably a good choice. When a girl's mother thinks the guy she is hanging out with is hot it probably encourages her to move the relationship up to boyfriend and girlfriend status. Anyway. I ended up falling in love with the girl and didn't pursue her mother or my fantasy of sleeping with a hot milf. Now I'll have to wait until me and the girl have been married for 20 years and she is an actual milf herself before I'll get to fulfill my fantasy. You slash gems Buckland's guide to banging milfs. Step 1. Get a girlfriend step 2. Wait. That I know when she makes fun of me that she's joking around. But sometimes it actually really hurts my feelings. You should tell her and give her a chance to stop. If she cares about you she will. And if you never have a conversation it might build up resentment for her. Sorry she does that, some people just naturally have that kind of sense of humor until you tell them it hurts you. I hate that she says she can't go do things that I want to do with her because she already made plans to go do things with her family. I'm not family oriented and she is. It definitely sucks when you feel you need to make reservations with your girlfriend months in advance. Like they're unwilling to be proactive and make a plan with you first. Wife has weight issues. I found her snack stashed at work and around the house. I know on her really bad days she dips into them. You should probably help her with that. There's usually anxiety or depression or an eating disorder behind things like this. I have never told her this but as soon as she leaves. I cut a 5 minute long fart. Passing gas is always the first hurdle in a perfect relationship. She asked me to show her the porn I was watching when I want to jerk off. I shown her some very vanilla things with threesomes and lesbian things. I didn't show her the weird hente with tentacles rape and shit. I never will. I bet what a lot of people would see would be there so cranking it while scrolling through endless pages of thumbnails. Trying to find that one video thar, never mind I'm done. I prostituted myself before we met. Do you think she would break up with you if they found out? The number of sexual partners I've had. I think that's most people. I've been with my so for 4 years and neither of us knows how many exactly the other has been with but each of us know that the other had a phase of sleeping around lol. That I served in the army for 5 years. And fought in the first Iraq war. But to be fair I don't tell anybody about it. I just keep it to myself. Some people wave their hats. Some people turn their backs. To a person though. Unless they've done the job they really don't have any idea of what it's like. I am. She wants a certain house and I'm saving money. When I buy the house I'm sending the key by mail and will wait for her. Colon. I just can't wait for the follow up to this thread. All the very best. Man. I loved that woman for a long ass time before I had the nerve to tell her. It's actually a little shy of 6 inches. 
Ain't bad chief. My former partner pressured me into being a cam general because my wage was not making ends meet. He didn't work. There is most likely porn of me on the internet I hated producing. I was 18. I'm glad I'm out of there. I feel deeply ashamed and would never tell my current partner. Maybe you should. Or at least talk to someone. It was a bad situation and you deserve closure. I might have breast cancer and I am freaking out. He knows I have a lump. He knows I have a mammogram and ultrasound scheduled. He thinks that it's preventative. Probably a cyst. NBD. That might be the case. But this thing is hard. Irregularly shaped. And only as sensitive and tender as my normal breast tissue. There's a good chance I'm ducked. I'm not going to dump this on him until I get that mammogram and ultrasound, and possibly biopsy. He has his own shit going on, newly diagnosed anxiety. Oh noz. And I'm not going to add to it with bad news I'm unsure about. I am talking to friends. And soon a counselor. So it's not like I'm keeping this bottled up, it's just not the right time to tell husband. I never told my last girlfriend that I was bisexual. I just didn't see the point. Early on in our relationship. She admitted that she experimented with women in college. Since I am not publicly out yet. And she was clearly open to the idea. I simply didn't tell her. She never asked me directly. Have you ever been with a man sexually? So I don't feel like I lied to her technically. I would never lie to her or cheat on her. I don't have any STDs. And I know my way around a vagina. Does anything else really matter? This is a tough situation. I've been with people who don't mind at all. And people who consider it a deal breaker. There seems to be a really common misconception that bisexual men have two parallel sex drives that each need to be satisfied. And thus are incapable of monogamy. Also. Members of the LGBT community discount you as soon as you enter into a heterosexual relationship. So if your LGBT allies think you're faking being B as soon as you get a girlfriend. And your girlfriend is going to be weird and insecure about it. What's the point of bringing it up? It will just cause problems and it's not like you can act on it in a monogamous relationship. That I'm very kinky. I enjoy weird things like gas masks. Latex. Restraints. Gentle fdom and mdom. And weirder things like succubi. Tentacles. Aliens. Fembats and domination of people by I. And other wild stuff. I was a closed oyster about this for more than 15 years. I opened a bit about 2 years ago. About the least weird stuff. Because our sex life was going down to zero. We had some nice moments when I gently dominate her. Strap her down on the bed. And pleasure her in various ways. As I tell her. Everything I do to her. She can feel free to do them to me. She didn't go into that yet. But. Hopefully. One day. In the meantime. The little thing I share with her makes our relationship deeper and more satisfying for both of us. But in the day following this partial coming out. I had some anxiety attacks. Something I've never experienced before. My love for her comes way higher before my kinks. But. If it's combined it's all the better. I feel like I'll never tell her about the weirdest things. Because they are surreal so. It's useless. Also. I enjoy having an existing sex life with her while also having things on my own. But it'll never be with anybody else. She is my only love. Don't tell her. But she doesn't actually exist. Same but she still managed to cheat on me. I am fixed. Vasectomy. Lol. This one is not like the others. My girlfriend was unaware that before we dated I had sex with two moms. One was the mom of the kids I babysat for and the other was the mom of the kids my sister babysat for. All my friends knew and had a lot of fun teasing me with the information subtly in front of my GF. One of my buddies. Duck you Andrew. Told her that he was surprised I was dating her and not her mom given my history with women. Thank god she was not very smart and pretty drunk so it went entirely over her head. Edit. Word choice. I know their reddit account. You slash subterraneo. Because of that thing. It's no longer a secret my friend. She doesn't know that every time I hold her in my arms. I have to stop myself from proposing because I don't have a ring yet and I want it to be special for her. 
I'm bisexual. I have been with many guys and girls before I met her and masturbate to gay be straight porn nearly every day. Would love to try different things in the bedroom with her but she is so vanilla. But I love her for who she is. And wouldn't cheat on her. But worry she wouldn't love me for who I truly am. Talk to her. Start small. Who knows. If you haven't talked to her. She might think you're the vanilla one and is keeping her delightful perversions to herself because she doesn't want to freak you out. Ducking like and subscribe.